Hello, Daddy Gamer here from DaddyGamer365.com, and uh, two days ago, the um, FPSE, uh, the PlayStation emulator for the Ouya was released, so I decided to uh, give it a shot here. So as you can see, there's the icon right there, FPSE. Let's give it a shot, and uh, of course, we go into the uh, the settings, different settings um, screen here. That's the load game the bios um, what I realized is that you want to go to the settings first um, I didn't really mess out uh, mess out uh, mess with any of the um, settings here except for the gamepad and this will uh, alleviate some of the hair pulling that you'll do later and this is uh, I just realized this because I tried playing some games and could not get it going and then what I realized is the buttons weren't mapped. So my suggestion is go to the buttons mapping, um, assign HW keys for pad one since you're using this stuff, and assign. Everything else is pretty much assigned nicely on your OUYA controller. Um, but the start and select is not. So press the start uh, button there. And then what I've done is assign my L, so my L, no, it's my R, my R3 button, so that when I push it down, so press a key for pad one button start, just press down your my R3 button, and that's assign my R3 button uh, for the start, and that took care of a lot of headaches for me, and uh, that's the main one, and all you have to do is just A for the, the OUYA button, just to A back and you are done. And that's really the only thing I did. Um, I wanna see how the uh, FPSE works without messing around too much with the settings. So I didn't mess with the audio, the system, the video. Let me see, did I mess anything with the video here? Um, yeah, I did actually. I took out the, um, the frame skip, so it's not checked here and it was um, recommended so that I do. So I took out that check mark there and that's pretty much it. Um, I didn't mess around with anything, any settings. The uh, Just make sure that you have the, um, the suggested boost, boot BIOS that um, the FPSE um, author is suggesting. I, I forgot the exact thing, it's SCH something that uh, make sure that you have it in the uh, the folder and that's about the size of that and then um you could go actually before i do that let me um show you when you click on this boot bios and okay it's asking for my what control i want to use of course the ouya and beautiful this is as i remembered it and of course we don't have any games or cds that you have and when you do that on your original PlayStation 1 um, this is what you get the memory card CD player um, screen and it's it's perfect this is what you get in the, uh, the original PlayStation if you don't have any CD so um, so far so good let me um, click on the U button the middle U button and uh, click on uh, actually let me get out of this so I can get out the BIOS now the load game okay now we're in the load game so um, on this side um, what I have realized for me what works well is that I'm not using ISOs I'm basically using the bin files the .bin files and the queue so I have let me back up here I have created right now, I have, let's see here, yeah, I have Crash Bandicoot, have Harvest Moon, and Tekken 3. Um, so I just created folders in the ROM um, folder, within the ROM folder, and created all these different uh, different files. And then so when I want to start it, I just go to any of them. You can choose, and it doesn't matter what you choose, 1, 2, 3, track, Q, it doesn't matter. Uh, you can choose any one of them and um, just hit O on the uh, the OUYA and 
here we go there's the start of the game and I'm not gonna ruin this thing of course let me show you the the intro okay so this is the way it is and there it is there's your uh, there's your Tekken 3 um, so this actually works and believe it or not the Ouya controller works perfectly um, it's pretty responsive what I realized though is maybe because I haven't um, adjusted the audio settings too much the audio tends to fade out after a few seconds so let me uh, let me start this puppy <laughs> Thank you. 